this will be the first test here. Basically straight 4K30. They're both handheld, hyper smooth on. Medium sharpness. And how does it look? That's sort of the standard setting, 4K30. And again, I'm not gonna use a, I'm just hand holding both, so that's sort of what most people be doing. It's 4K30. And some shadows, some different colors here. And this is not with HDR on. What I'll do next is I will compare HDR on the GoPro 12. I'm using the HDR here simply because, you know, darker, lighter, a little overcast, and movement. Hyper smooth is on, and it will be on all the time. It's silly not to leave it on. There you go. That is the HDR on the 12. Going down this alley with sort of contrasting light. We'll go out into the light at the end here. Some colors. HDR. Dark and colors. Can you notice a difference? The HDR. 4K30. And a little brighter over here. And into some more light. Looking up. It's overcast. Okay, let's try some of the different lenses. All the same settings, just change the lens to wide. All right, that's the wide lens. How's it looking? I'm not on HDR anymore, just going more, just standard on everything, on both. Okay, here is the super view. Super view lens on the 8 versus the 12. Standard color, no HDR. Just comparing what that may look like. Super view. There we go. So the GoPro 12 is on the HV or hyper view, I think it's called. So that's the difference there. That'll be good for action, movement, not necessarily vlogging, of course. Well, maybe. It's one of the freaky video. Let's walk down here. I'm gonna run over by a car. Uh, now, this is the horizon lock, and I'm gonna tilt both cameras. You see what I'm doing? I'm t actually tilting both, but with the horizon lock on, I'm tilting them about 45 degrees sideways. Oh, what's this? But yeah, you're gonna get, this will be perfect for vlogging. Some Chinese karaoke for you. Um, you can, as you know, little micro tilts, I'm tilting them both the same. You're not going to get the tilt. The actual GoPro is being tilted the same, and that's what you're going to get there. I can actually, let me show you something freaky. I can go completely upside down. That's upside down. And flipping it around back, you're going to see with the GoPro 12, the horizon's always steady. That was with, with the GoPro flip completely upside down. You can do a 360 with the damn thing. That's the, the audio test. Straight from both GoPros with no media mod on. So, I'm just gonna chat about whatever. Walking by a school here. 4K on both. That's my standard setting. I don't find a big difference to 5.3 when it gets up to social media. So traffic, how does, how's it handling the noise of people passing by? That's why I chose this, simply because you're going to get traffic. How does it cancel that out? This is standard mics from both of the GoPros. You can enable the two mics on the media mod at the same time, or each one independently. This is the front now. It's okay. I don't know. I think it sounds better. What do you think? Just talking away here. But when you turn it away, you're at the back. So you might want to have them both turned on. But in a case like this, if I was vlogging, the back turned on would give me more road noise. You can it's quick to, uh, you just switch it right in the settings quickly. Let's try the back mic. Now this is the audio from the back. So if you're doing this side, 
You shouldn't hear the traffic noise here. I'm just from the back mic and behind the camera. But when I flip it around, the back mic's just recording. It wouldn't be very good. Yeah. It'd be the like this. And I'll turn them both on and see how that compares. You know, if my voice can override, I'm on the back mic now. This would be probably the setting for this sort of an environment. Let's try both mics on. Same setting. Now this here is both front and back mics turned on, the media mod. I'll play this until I see cars come by. Let me turn it around. Here's some cars coming now. And when you flip it around, you'll still get good audio because front and back are recording. Now what's this sound like when cars go by? Because the cars, as you can see, are behind me. Some of them are electric. They're not too noisy. But if I was talking with both mics on, would it probably be better if you knew you're in this position to just leave the front one on obviously you're not going to pick up the background noise but how does this sound with both mics recording if I was more of a nature walk sort of thing I'd leave them both on to pick up the sounds on the other side all right and flipping it around there we go that's both mics recording well, there you go. I'll leave you with a few last shots of the GoPro 12. This is 4K 30 HDR. Uh, my last video was completely shot on the GoPro 12 with no color correction. So skip back if you want to see what it's like straight out of the camera. It's a definite upgrade from the GoPro 8. Uh, my recommendations are if you have a GoPro 8, even a 9 or lower, it's worth it. The horizon leveling and the picture quality are noticeably better. But if you have a GoPro 10 or 11, skip it. Uh, it's not much different. There's a few small things in the 12. Uh, if you look through the specs, if you really need them, like that high frame rate and high quality, the you know, 4K slow motion stuff, then maybe. But that's a very small market. Bottom line is GoPro 8, 9 or lower, and you want something better, don't hesitate. You might not see it on YouTube, uh, but uh, when you look at it on your PC, you'll notice a difference. Take it easy, and I hope I helped. Bye-bye.